Greetings classmates and teachers, my name is Dani Razo and this is the video belonging to task number two of the course Introduction to Linguistics and I belong to the group number 14. So today I'm going to talk to you about dialect. So a dialect is considered a variation of a language. We know that a language is a set of signs that have structures, patterns, words with specific meanings and they have a very recognizable phonetic. So when a group of people belonging to a specific area or belonging to a specific community starts adding new words, starts uh, changing a little bit the way that they use the, the patterns of the words, um, this can be considered a dialect. In English, for example, uh, there's the standardized version of English, which is considered a dialect, and African Americans have developed through time their own um set of English rules and this is known as African-American vernacular English. So something that is very curious is the fact that dialects uh, don't have the same connotation um, among different uh, languages. So French and Germans may consider uh, the standardized version of their language one thing proper language and the variations the dialects but in English uh, the standardized version is also considered a dialect besides all the other versions and alterations that exist of it. So in Colombia, we have like 12 very recognizable dialects. We have Caribeño, Antoqueño, Caucano, Chocano, Andino, Tolimense, Cundiboyacense, Bogotano, Llanero, Amazonico, Santanderiano, and Isleño. And the one that I am going to talk to you is uh, Paisa or Antioqueño. So... This dialect receives its name because of the region. It's located, um, well, the people that speak it are located in the areas of Antioquia, Quindío, Risaralda, and Caldas, which are for uh, departments that are widely known because of their um, coffee production. And uh, One of the things that are very recognizable of this dialect is the fact that they don't use the word to to refer to another person they they use the word or the pronoun boss uh so this is a very uh, iconic thing that happens in this in this alteration in this variety of the language because you also have to change the structure of the verbs and how you conjugate them and the, there's also the fact that uh, paisa uh, has a very uh, recognizable accent and intonation and that is it is widely used in, in soap opera, so it is very recognizable internationally and it is very easy to locate when a person is speaking it and to know where they are from.